Um, my name is Mabli Siriel Jones, and I'm the chair of Cymdeitha Siriaeth. Okay, fantastic. So um, we're talking about the housing crisis in Wales, and in particular, the effect that second homes have on that housing crisis. Uh, would you like to start maybe telling me from your point of view, uh, a big question, but re re uh, given to you very shortly, what is the housing crisis in Wales? Well, um, there, yeah, there's a massive housing crisis in Wales, as there is um, across the whole of the UK, you know, and fundamentally, this is something that's got worse over the last few decades, um, where, you know, a lot of people can't afford high quality housing in their community. Um, it's got particularly worse over the last year um, in Wales, as um, housing prices have gone up everywhere. Um, and we can see as well in a lot of our communities that that's having a huge impact on the language too. And, you know, fundamentally, the, the thing about the housing crisis is that the whole system we have um, of housing in this country has just gone badly wrong. You know, where you have some people can afford two houses, um, whereas other people can't afford a house at all. You know, we have um, thousands of homeless houses. And then we have communities that are being where local housing that should be there for local people is being bought up as luxury holiday properties and um, some things gone badly wrong and we need to stop treating housing as a commodity and rather treat it as something that is, you know, a fundamental need for everyone in our society. Okay. And from your point of view, I guess protecting the Welsh language is the most important thing. Obviously, you're protecting communities in Wales too. How has people buying a second home in Wales affected the Welsh language? Yeah, so Cymde Thassery, I think, you know, we say that we're a movement that works for the benefit of um, the Welsh language and all of Wales's communities, because from our perspective, you know, as with any um, minoritised language, the Welsh language can only survive and thrive as long as it is a living language in our where people can live their lives every day through through that language and there are certain communities in Wales where a majority of people speak Welsh and they use it in their everyday um, lives that the number of those communities and their strength has, has gradually deteriorated um, over the decades and that's something that we're fighting back against and fundamentally, we see that the, the question of um, housing, the question of wealth inequality, the question of class, um, those things are all connected to the language. And, and the, the fate of the language is tied up with the fate of all of our communities. And the, the housing crisis that we're seeing at the moment, you know, the linguistic impact of that is, is very, very clear in Wales. OK, so people moving into, is it that people moving into the area and they can't or, or don't learn to speak Welsh? Or is that people from the area who speak Welsh have to move out? Or is it a combination of the two, would you say? So, yeah, so what, what's happened is um, as ho house prices have gone up um, massively um, over recent decades in Wales, as they have um, everywhere in the UK, um, and especially over the last year, we've seen a huge increase in housing prices, especially in some of those communities which have like high levels of tourism. Um, and what happens essentially then is young people in those areas can't afford to buy or rent in their local community and they have to leave. Um, and what happens then is, you know, they they take the language with them. And, and a lot of that local housing stock, um, rather than being used as homes for people in their local community and their families, it's being bought up by people, um, by wealthy people who want a holiday home, who want a second home. And um, what we're saying is that that shouldn't be allowed, that shouldn't be allowed to happen, essentially, that we shouldn't, you know, wealth inequality like that shouldn't be structuring um, our whole um, housing system and the whole fate of our communities. And, and we want people to be able to buy a house in their local community, live in their local community um, and use the language in their everyday lives. And, and the effect on those communities has been has been massive. OK, so tackling that really means tackling the whole neoliberal system that sees housing as a commodity and investment and build wealth 
rather than a place to live and build community. Mm. Uh, that maybe that needs to come at government level or, or maybe not. I don't know. What, how do you see us tackling that neoliberal system in order to make housing a, a right and a place where people can build community? So it's definitely a question of neoliberalism and how that's restructured the political system in the UK of recent decades, you know, where our whole economic system is based on treating housing as a commodity rather than prioritising homes for people. Um, and the the fact is, though, that um, we can change that. And that's what Kandathas are calling for. You know, none of this is inevitable. Um, we didn't used to have the housing crisis that we have now, that it's a result of deliberate um, policy decisions by governments at a UK level and at a Welsh level. So what um, what we're campaigning for um, at the moment is, um, is for a property act to be introduced by the Welsh government because the Welsh government does have control over housing. Um, so what you would do through that property act is move away from that system of treating housing as a commodity and introduce um, controls on the housing market at a local level um, to to stop um, to stop house prices continually being inflated, um, to prioritise homes for people in their local community, and to put a um, a cap on the number of second homes and holiday homes that you can have in any one area, and um, and a lot of other things like that that will level the playing field. Um, and we're also calling on the Welsh Government to introduce a series of um, progressive taxes which could help tackle this problem. So one of them would be um, a, a super tax on second homes, um, a tax on tourism to ensure that the um, the cost of tourism is able to be met by local communities and that that's reinvested in their um, in their local services um, and also a tax on the profit of landlords. So there's a lot of things that Welsh Government could do. Um, so far, we haven't seen the action that we want, but um, we know that the um, the current Welsh Government um, would have promised um, in their election manifesto that um, they were going to tackle this. Um, our First Minister has said that um, he, he is going to take steps to tackle it um, and has talked previously about considering legislation and controls on the housing market. So, um, so we're pushing them to do that and um, we've got a rally on the 10th of July where we're going to have um, hundreds of people together calling for those actions. Okay, yes, that's the human dam, isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. How exactly is that going to work? How are you going to form a human dam? Um, so well, we'll see on the day. Um, so the, the <laughs> so the plan is um, over the last year we've had um, a series of protests um, all across Wales and and rallies calling for action on this issue because it really has um, the crisis has just deepened over the past year with the explosion in house prices. And so on the 10th of July we're having this rally um, at the site of the um, Trewaren Dam, which is a very um, obviously emotive. Um, emotive site for people in Wales because of the history of um, the community that was lost there when um, when it, the valley was flooded and you know for us the resonance there is you know that community was killed off by political decisions and the fact is you know our communities are being killed off not in such a dramatic way as um, but now because of the effect of the housing market and again because of political decisions. So the idea is on the day that um, we're hoping to have um, hundreds of people there from every part of Wales and that um, we'll spread out um, across the dam in a um, symbolic um, image of how many people there are calling on the Welsh Government to take action on this and um, to stop this happening to any more communities in Wales. Okay and I think uh, you were saying that Every day you're going to announce the name of a new person who's joined the campaign. How was that part of the campaign going? Um, yeah, so that's going really well. Um, at the moment, we've got, um, we're have got we asking people, um, prominent people from all areas of Wales, from you know, um, the political sphere, um, literary sphere, cultural and music um, backgrounds, to, um, to sign a statement calling on the Welsh Government to take the radical action we need to tackle the housing crisis. So, um, yeah, we've been releasing the name of a new person every day who's, um, who's going to be there on the day on the 10th of July to um, to sign that statement and to back our calls.